I gave in. I finally tried something that I didn't think I would ever try. If you've watched this channel for a while, you know that I don't like to wear a watch when I swim. I find it distracting. I find that I go too hard because I'm trying to beat my previous time. And so when I saw advertisements for the form goggles, I thought that's great. It's just like a watch on steroids. There's no way that I'm going to find myself wearing that because I just, I kind of old school in that sense where I just like to keep things really simple, no electronics. You know, for me, I, I just found it distracting. And then Form contacted me. They said, we'd like to sponsor your podcast. Is that something that you would be open to? And I told them the story, like I don't wear a watch. I don't know if it's something I'd use, but I'm willing to try it. So they sent me out a pair of goggles and I've been wearing them for the last couple of weeks. So this video, I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on them, the pros, the cons, who I think would be best um, to, to use them and, um, and when I'm using them in my training. So let's have a look. Now over the last couple of months that I've been running clinics, I've had some people attend, and if I've seen that they've had form goggles, I've asked them what their experience was like. And the thing that I found when I asked them was that every single one of them was a rave review. So I thought, all right, it's probably worth worth trying, um, but I'm not gonna go out there and you know, just uh, and, and buy them. I thought I'll just see what happens. And the, the thing about them is like, I was, like I was the same <laughs> when um, people were asking me about it after I tried them, I had the same smile on my face and I was just as enthusiastic about the goggles as the um, people that I was working with were as well. Now, what, what are the goggles, right? So if you don't know what form goggles are, if you've lived in a cave for the last two years, these goggles have got a display on them and they can tell you a whole host of things while you're swimming, like your times, your splits, your stroke rate, your stroke count, um, how far you've swum for that interval, your cumulative distance. So it can basically tell you all the data that you want right in your goggle. And I thought this would be incredibly distracting, as I said, like a watch on steroids. But the thing is I've actually gotten used to wearing them where you hardly realize that you've, you've got them on. And I'm wearing them for the majority of my sessions at the moment. Now, the only session that I'm not wearing these goggles in is my sprint or speed sessions where we're often doing 25s or, or 50s and I'm doing fly or back or breast, so I'm mixing up the strokes. The reason I'm not wearing it in those sessions is there's not much data that I, there's, I don't, I wouldn't get much data from it because we're swimming in a 50 meter pool. I'm sort of stopping at halfway sometimes as we're doing 25s. And when I do butterfly and backstroke, I find the peripherals are a little bit too limiting um, to be sort of comfortable with it. So in backstroke, I find that I'm sort of hitting the lane rope a bit because I can't really see the lane ropes as I'm doing it. And so it's hard to stay straight. Uh, and then with butterfly, I, it's hard to kind of see forwards and see if anyone's coming. So I've got to, so I can't really adjust my hand to make sure I'm not going to hit them. So they're the only, that's the only session that I'm not wearing them for. But for my aerobic, my threshold, our heart rate sets, I'm, you know, for the most part, I'm wearing these goggles. Now, what setting do I use them on? There's a couple of settings you can use. The uh, first one is uh, interval. So that will basically tell you like your cumulative time, your distance that you've, you've done as well. Um, so that one's good. You've got technique, which will, t will tell you the more technical stuff like your stroke rate, your distance per stroke. The one that I'm using is interval. And this is where it's gonna it give you a split after every 25 or every 50 and uh, it'll also tell you your, your stroke rate. So for me, I really like the, the pacing one, and um, with, the, with the pacing one, that way I know where I'm at after each 50 or 100, I know the cumulative time, and for me, especially if we're doing like a threshold set, where I you know, really wanna stick to the same, same pace there, then uh, I found that to be very useful. Now, one of the things that um, was, uh, a concern going in was, all right, how like how distracting will they be when I'm swimming? That like I'm only going to be looking at the at the data and at the computer. Will I actually be sort of being able to see what's what's going on around me? But I found it was pretty easy to adapt to looking at what's happening and then switching and, and looking at the little um, display there. So when I'm typically using them. The first like 50 that I push off, I'm not really looking at it, all right, I'm just swimming. 
Then once I hit the turn, after three seconds or four seconds, it will tell me my split. And then I'll look at it, okay, great. And then I'll just zone that out and I'll keep swimming. And then maybe halfway down the lap, as I pass the halfway mark, I'll look at what my time is so I know roughly where I'm at. And then, you know, if I'm turning, then I'll continue just to look at the, the splits. Or if I'm doing like a longer interval, then I'll see what my time is when I go through like the, the 100, the 200, the 300 and so on. So it's, it's really good at being able, to, uh, I found it's, it's really easy to be able to go from like zoning into it and then just ignoring it, which is a, a, a good thing because obviously if you're distracted, you're not paying attention to what's happening around you. So it, that's been pretty easy to adapt to. So who would I recommend these goggles for? Well, a lot of triathletes, a lot of open water swimmers that I would usually work with in clinics, online, I think they can be a really helpful tool to help you get good at developing your pacing. Because with that instant feedback, you know exactly what your times are, which can be a hard thing to just gauge, particularly if you're new to the sport. So it's very good at developing that awareness about your, your pacing. So I would recommend it to you know, a lot of the the adults that I work with. Now I know we've got some junior competitive swimmers that watch this or their, their parents. If you are say you know, in a, a junior competitive squad, I probably wouldn't recommend these for a couple of reasons. One, I think your coach is probably gonna get a bit annoyed if you're distracted with the goggles and they're probably gonna be able to give you your times anyway. They'll be yelling at your times. So you'll have some of that data anyway. And I know like if, if I've got a kid that's playing with their watch all the time, distracted, it's quite frustrating from a coach's perspective. So if you are a junior swimmer, look, I'd, I'd think they could be useful, but I probably would, um, wouldn't would know, recommend it to them. I think for the adults uh, that are doing competitive swimming, it can be good, or as, as we're talking about like open water or triathlon. I also like the data that you can get on the phone. So after a session, I'll open the app. It'll pretty quickly download all the data and tell you what you want to know, whether it's just your stroke rate, your stroke count, all that sort of stuff. And it's actually good to see like how, what stroke rate are you holding for your threshold pace. You can also obviously get heart rate if you um, kind of get a, a polar heart rate monitor. Um, so you can get that stuff as well. But it's, it's really good with the, the data if, if you find that is something that, um, that you're already currently looking at. One of the other concerns I had coming in was is it going to be accurate? It doesn't use a, a GPS, it uses, I think it's like an accelerometer in there. And what I've found is that it's probably only been two times where it's um, over counted or under counted my distance, or it's like Mr. Mr. Turn. And the only reason for that really is because I've swapped strokes halfway down a lap. And that's the only reason that it's been, uh, that it hasn't been accurate. So, but every other time, like every other time it's been spot on. So when you push off the wall, it senses that with the accelerometer. And then after a couple seconds, it'll pop up on your screen as it started. So it'll basically just sense that it's happened once you've pushed off, and then it will come up and it'll say like three, four, and so on. So it knows when you push off the wall, and it knows when you flip over and turn and come back. And so there's kind of like a two or three second delay from you either pushing off or you hitting a turn that it will actually show up on your display because it's making sure that you've actually done that action. So incredibly accurate. And it's it, the really cool thing that I, I found too is like we do a lot of hundreds in training. And I know that like my particular effort for, you know, for a certain, like let's say I'm swimming 115s, particular effort that I need to put out for that, that I know exactly you know, what I've got to do to make sure I hit say like 37.2 on the way down and then coming back, you know, 37, whatever. So it's, it's really good at just seeing like, all right, how much extra effort do I have to put out to go down this first lap in a second quicker or two seconds quicker? And um, to have that real-time feedback, I never thought would be something that is, you know, that would be possible. The other question I had was, are they going to be comfortable? And there's a couple of different nose clips that you can use, so you can change them in and out and um, find the right one for you. So I found this to be, to be fairly comfortable. And look, goggles are quite an individual thing. 
and we all have our, our own personal preferences. Um, but I found them to be to be fairly comfortable and um, no real issues when I'm when I'm wearing them. Now you can see that the like the lenses stick out quite far. And we've talked about the uh, the peripherals, so they're definitely less than what I have with the the Swedish goggles that I would normally wear. Um, and as I said, fly and um, backstroke. I'm, I tend to not wear the goggles if I'm doing that stroke in the session. Um, but for freestyle, which the you know, majority of you might be um, doing, then it is, um, yeah, there's no issues whatsoever. You can see what's happening around you and um, you will barely notice that you've got, um, you know, got this little computer, this little device here. Um, when you're swimming, you just get, get your swept. It took me three or 400 meters to kind of feel comfortable swimming and having the, the little um, screen there. But after a while, yeah, hardly notice it and it just feels normal when you're swimming. If you'd like to purchase your own pair of form goggles, then you can use the code EFFORTLESS on checkout or use the link below. That'll get you $15 off when purchasing your pair. So uh, if you've been thinking about it, but you're not too sure, then I'd love it if you support the channel and use that code or use our link below. Um, we'll get a small amount from form as well when you do buy through that link. Um, but if you feel like it's something that is going to help you with the training, which I think is it can for a lot of triathletes and open water swimmers, then uh, it can be a really good tool for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you with another video next week.